go ahead and begin the regular council meeting. Tuesday, November 27, 2018, 7.58 p.m., Twinsburg Government Center. Shannon, please call the roll. Mr. <coughs> Stoffer. Here. Mr. Steele. Here. Mr. Fury. Here. Mr. Barr. Here. Mr. Scafidi. Here. Mr. Bellin. Here. Ms. McCarran. Here. Please join us for the invocation and Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> Almighty and eternal God, you know the longings of men's hearts and you protect their rights. In your goodness, watch over those in authority so that people everywhere may enjoy freedom, security, and peace. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, need approval of the minutes from November 13th, 2018. Any changes or corrections? Okay, the minutes will stand as written. Uh, and no awards and presentations tonight. Uh, do we have any audience participation? Sue Clark. Good evening, Council. My name is Sue Clark. And I would just like to talk about the legal outside opinion that was written by Walter and Haverfield. This opinion was to be written to see if the sober home could be in an R4 residential and if we could dispense drugs from this facility. The residents asked for an outside opinion so that we could get a non-biased opinion on these issues. Please tell me why we chose the law firm where John Herr was a previous partner. He worked for Walter and Haverfield for almost 10 years. We have heard the sober home is going to open December 1st. Um, is council going to write a new legal opinion covering both the R4 and the dispensing of drugs? How are we going to let the residents know about the opinion from Walter and Haverfield that it may not be non-biased and will council seek getting our money back? And who is going to make the HERS take down the legal opinion off of their website? Thank you for your time. Thank Thanks. You. Thank you, Sue. Thank you. Is there any other? There is none. Okay, we'll go ahead and move on to council communication and committee reports. Um, Mr. Byrne. Um, in the interest of brevity, none of my committees have met since our last meeting, so I have nothing to say. Thank you. Mr. Bellin. Uh, good evening. I hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. I attended last week's finance committee meeting as well as this evening's council work session and public hearing. Uh, during our council work session this evening, we spoke about the operations of the clubhouse, the restaurant, and the banquet center. Um, the Golf Advisory Board met yesterday, Monday, November 26th. Um, Director Abby Fector produced her, or gave her report. Um, the ribbon cutting for the clubhouse was on October 19th. It was very well attended. Um, to date, they've hosted 16 events ranging from golf outings, business meetings, birthday parties, and ceremonies. There's about 11 booked throughout the rest of 2018, including weddings, holiday parties, luncheons, and business meetings. In 2019, we already have 20 events, including golf outings, weddings, birthday parties, baby and wedding showers. There are bookings well into 2020, and there have been inquiries all the way out into 2025. The next golf advisory board meeting will not be until Tuesday, January 15th at 6.30 p.m. Uh, at this point, this would mark my last report as the council rep to the golf advisory board. Uh, I have asked to be reappointed, but if not, I would like to thank the members of the Golf Advisory Board. Um, and it's been my honor and privilege to be a, the council rep to the Golf Advisory Board. Nothing for this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. McFerrin. Great job. Yes. Um, we've all attended last week's um, finance meeting and the work session tonight um, in regards to the clubhouse and the banquet center and the <coughs> restaurant. Um, my next meeting for Parks and Rec will be this Thursday here at 630. That's all I have. Thank you. My uh, committees did not meet, so I'm going to move on to Mr. Scafidi. Thank you. Good evening. Um, I do want to mention the uh, we had a special finance committee meeting held last week to uh, just go over the budget, uh, the 2019 budget. Um, council thought that we needed to have a little extra time to really go through it and digest it. There were some numbers there that we had in question and some budgets that we wanted to uh, really discuss in depth. And I just want to thank all the department heads that did show up for that meeting to answer our questions. Uh, we appreciate that. 
there were some adjustments made and there's some questions that we had that are going to be uh, answered at another time. But I think what really came out of the meeting was that uh, we are going to pass a temporary budget this year. Uh, it's not going to be a permanent for 2019. We will uh, make sure that that happens before the end of March 2019, which is a requirement. But we will be able to operate between January and March uh, with our temporary budget. So um, council still has time to, to continue to go through it and ask questions and uh, uh, kind of figure out exactly if this is where we want to go with regards to our, our revenues and uh, what we're spending uh, at the same time. So again, it was a good meeting and I appreciate everybody attending uh, that was here. Um, the next finance committee meeting is not scheduled for next month yet. Uh, we changed our council meetings uh, due to the holiday to the first Tuesday and the second Tuesday of the month. So uh, we have none scheduled. I talked to uh, Sarah, our finance director, and she really had nothing uh, to go over unless council chose to. So whoever's on that committee uh, come next month, we'll uh, have to talk with Sarah and see what, uh, what, the, uh, what you plan to do. Um, the uh, Board of Zoning Appeals has not met, and that kind of wraps up all of my, uh, all of my committees. I did attend Luminosity uh, last week, and uh, it, it turned out, it was very nice. Uh, turned out very well. Thank you to, uh, to Derek and, and his staff and the service department for all they did. I think that the, uh, the City Hall looked very nice. It still looks very nice as I look out the window and see, see all the lights from this side instead of from the street side. Um, you did a great job, Derek. I, I appreciate it. I know we've gone around and around a little bit and uh, you know, we've had some discussion, uh, but at the end of the day, it turned out as well as I thought it would do to your talent. So I appreciate that. Not that last year was so hot, but <laughs> I just thought it's right. <laughs> but this year was really nice. It looks <laughs> good. Well, I had to get that little last day. So, um, yeah, I did attend, and I think everybody had a great time. There was a lot of people in attendance, so uh, thanks for that. Thank you very much. And uh, that's all I have in my report tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Steele. ARB, the uh, Architecture Review Board, met on the 15th. Uh, there was two things on the agenda. One was a new single-family home for Koblenz Builders, and the second one was the uh, demo uh, certificate of appropriate appropriateness in the demolition of the house at 91 and Coast Road. Uh, they passed that. Uh, we are going to make an effort. Mr. Finch and I, we walked through the place a while ago and it was also said at the uh, ARB meeting they're going to make an effort to get the foundation blocks out as much of the old uh, framing as they can and use it hopefully somewhere else in the city or right there if we put a parking lot in with some sort of uh, remembrance of the uh, the old school house that was part of that. Other than that, that's it. Nothing else has been. Thank you. Mr. Fury. Thank you. I attended last week's finance committee and tonight's work session. I would like to congratulate Bob and Romanelle Walden, Waldron on their 75th wedding anniversary, their residence in Arbor Glen, and I see some 50s. My mom and dad made it to 49, but there's not too many 75s out there, so congratulations to them. So. I'd also like to congratulate Mrs. Stauffer, as this is the last meeting she's going to reside, unless I'm missing something. <laughs> and I get surprised all the time these days, so who knows? Uh, but uh, congratulations for being uh, president this year. So. Thank you. I did not see the lighting ceremony at Luminosity because I was directing traffic with the CERT team on Tinker's Lane, but I was on radio call with you. Um, next year though, uh, an issue that, that came were the many, several people that lived between City Hall and the square on Ravenna Road, even though there were signs out, were unaware that the road was closing. We might possibly, you, you did mail them, they, they, they claimed absolutely no knowledge whatsoever and i'm sure we tell arbor glen all the people there the same thing that it's closing because those were the those were the, the people that we had the biggest issue with the road being closed for the hour so but we handled it not a problem but i just wanted to make sure we were doing those other things and i would have brought it up to you earlier but i just got back so. 
and I'll check out the lights later tonight. That's all I have. Thank you very much. Thank you. And you must have done it well because I don't see any tire prints on your forehead. <laughs> I direct traffic really well, Brian. I'm, I'm hey, sticking Mayor. in front of a car. They're not going to run me over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, thanks. Good evening, everyone. Uh, just, just a short uh, report tonight. Just uh, luminosity is always a, a fun event. You know, it was we weren't sure about the weather, but uh, the residents turned out. Um, we had a big big turnout again, um, and it's just it's great to have that partnership with uh, the township and Reminderville now. Um, and you know the, the lights now in the in the square and uh, what we do at City Hall um, it's just it's it's great to bring the three communities together and get all the residents uh, uh, to participate in that event uh, it was nice having the the girls soccer team uh, they flipped a switch for us this year they had a fan fantastic season so it was nice uh, giving them a little bit of recognition so but uh, thanks to all the efforts of Parks and Rec as well as uh, we have fire department and uh, a police department out working hard that evening so um, and service department and all the work they do prior to uh, the event happening. So thanks to all of them. Um, and that's all really I have this evening. Um, we're going to uh, department heads report. Uh, Derek, you report. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Good evening. I do want to echo luminosity. It's not just my department. I mean, police, fire, cert, uh, volunteers, Ryan King State Farm Agency, Robusto's Catering, Dunkin' Donuts participated uh, this year as well. So I do want to uh, thank everyone for that. It's a big undertaking. A lot goes on behind the scenes, and you got to hear probably some crazy stuff coming out of our mouths <laughs> on, on walkies, uh, what's going on, things aren't happening. But I think to the general public, everything went off without a hitch, and uh, it was. Uh, it's, I think it's our best community feel event. I think that is, that is what I would bill that as. Um, and I'm glad you appreciate the lights. Uh, uh, and uh, one other thing, just for residents that are watching, next year we're asking for more resident participation in floats and putting lights on your cars and turning it more into a parade than two lighting ceremonies. So that'll be phasing at, in over the next probably six months out, uh, people watching a lit parade and then walking behind the last float to, s to the square and lighting up the square. So that's the game plan. It's been the game plan all along. It's just taken a while to get there. Uh, Winter Wonderland is this Sunday at the Fitness Center from 1 to 3. Santa will stick around for an extra hour until 4 for pictures. Light the Night, our Hanukkah event is on the 5th from 6 to 8. That's at the Community Center. Everyone's welcome to attend that event. Uh, Breakfast with Santa at the Fire Station is the following week. That is sold out, though, so if you don't have tickets, um, you're not going to be able to attend this year. Get them earlier next year. And it's been a long meeting, so that's all I have unless there's any questions. No, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other reports? <coughs> oh, Amy. Good evening. I'll make this real quick. Uh, just a few construction things still going on. Uh, everybody thinks we shut down for the winter. Uh, Quarry Reserve is still under construction. You'll see more construction traffic at 82 in Chamberlain, a new subdivision going in there. Um, they are still working at State Route 91. Um, I have a meeting later this week to get a progress update on that and scheduling. With that, I did receive the call last week from them asking or a request, and I'll give the full motion to you so you have it to read later. Um, you choose to move forward with it. Um, they have requested that if weather permits on a Sunday in December, while the asphalt plants are still open, um, if they would be allowed to work on Sunday. Uh, with the amount of rain and weather that we've been experiencing off and on, actually this Sunday looks really good as far as temperatures. I don't know what the weather will do. Um, but they're asking that they be able to work um, on Sunday. Um, there were two things uh, in that motion that um, per at the department head meeting we discussed is that basically we wouldn't want them to start prior to 8 in the morning and that that it would be no additional cost to the city if we did allow them to do that. So I will give you the full, um, so you can read it whenever you want to choose to yeah. read it in the in the meeting there. Um, but that's pretty much all I have. I'll let you keep going. Great. Thank you, Amy. Thanks, Thank Amy. You, Amy. All right. Good luck. Mine is short also. Um, our AFSCME negotiations are on break for a couple weeks um, for Thanksgiving and I think the other one was for hunting season or something. Um, we're having an employee holiday gathering. All the departments make cookies. Hey, it's and, a holiday. Uh, that's, pardon? That's a holiday. Oh, sorry. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, to, to their representative, it was. Um, employee holiday gathering on 1219. 
um, at 2 p.m. here at City Hall. The, the different departments make cookies and we have punch and it's just kind of a little, little gathering for the employees. Um, Oswald, our health care brokers, are coming to the Public Works Department on Thursday to have some small group individual meetings to explain some more about the benefits and we'll meet, meet privately with some of the employees to kind of look at their, their individual situations and maybe um, explain the plans and what might work best for their families. So that has worked out well. Uh, they did come to the Fire Department and they've been to the Police Department, so uh, now they're coming to Public Works. Uh, and then over at Glen Eagles, we're still looking for a, a cook or two, a dishwasher, and facilities attendance. So those ads are up on our website. Um, uh, civil service, our um, ad for the um, police department entrance exam, which is on January 27th, that is up on our website. It's also on the uh, National Minority Update website. Uh, and I know the assistant chief has been attending some job fairs, so that should get some good publicity. Um, we all, they, at the meeting, they also discussed um, plans um, just for kind of revisiting the scoring for um, the police entrance exam. They get different points, different percentage points for different seniority years and different things. So there, there's some discussion on maybe changing that up a little bit this time around. Um, they also discussed perhaps changing their meetings to just quarterly meetings instead of monthly meetings because a lot of the meetings are very short because there's not a, much on their agendas. So they're going to decide about that for next week, I mean for next month, and next month is on uh, December 13th is the next meeting for civil service. IT-wise, um, they're finalizing their plans for installing fiber optic network connection to the tower behind City Hall. <laughs> That's going to be used for the uh, microwave connection to the community's radio tower on Chamberlain Road. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <coughs> All right. And then uh, just Sarah. Sarah. Oh. Uh, income tax receipts for November came in at 1.58 million. Uh, last year at this time we were at 1.53, so we are up just under $52,000 um, in the month of November. That's a 3.39% increase. Um, total over the year we're up 2.3%, which is 473,000. We did get a notice from Rita today. They did an analysis of the GM plant closure um, for the surrounding communities, and we do have a few um, folks um, here that work out at the plant, so it'll affect us just a small bit, but it is something that's going to ripple out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's all we have. Yeah, I have one more thing I'd like to say. I would like to address Mrs. Clark real quick. Um, just to say that, you know, I, as you know, I, we did not know about the, um, you know, uh, John working for that, that law firm. But I, I and I, I don't believe that they knew either at, in the onset, okay. So, um, but had we known, and it's funny because in, in my small circles, I was doing some searching for somebody that had some experience in, in that type of law. And John, uh, Todd Hunt was brought to me. And when I brought that name to, to the mayor and to Mr. Maestros, they, they told me that that's who they were, you know, they were seeking out as well. And so I felt very comfortable with it at the time. Uh, unfortunately, you know, hearing what you said tonight, it gives me some uneasiness, and I'm sure that there'll be some additional discussion. So I just wanted to throw that out to you and let you know that that's where I stand. Okay? Okay. That's all. Thank you. Okay. Any that's other all. discussion? That's all we have. That's all we have. Okay. We are going to go ahead and move on to legislation. First, we have Ordinance 105-2018. An ordinance accepting the final subdivision plat and the R5 site plan for Whispering Woods Subdivision Phase 3 as presented and reviewed by the Planning Commission. Okay, I'd like to make a motion to add the standard emergency clause and put the ordinance on its third and final reading. Is there a second? I'll second. I made the motion. It was seconded by Mr. Scafidi. Um, any discussion? So the motion is to add the standard emergency clause to the ordinance, and yes. then we'll put it on its third and final reading. Yes. It's it's right. I thought that's what you did. Yes. Thank you. Any other discussion? No. Nope. Oh. Shannon, please call the roll. Mrs. Stoffer? Yes. Mr. Scafidi? Yes. Mr. Bellin? Yes. Mr. Fury? Yes. Mr. Barr? Yes. Ms. McFerrin? Yes. Mr. Steele? Yes. Okay, that motion passes 7-0. Now I'd like to uh, make a motion to adopt ordinance to one. I have to make a motion to suspend the rules on ordinance 105-2018. Yeah. 
you do it. Place it on its third, third and final reading, reading and, and declared an emergency. I'll Is second. There a second. I made the motion. It was seconded by Mr. Fury. Shannon, please call the roll. Mrs. Stauffer? Yes. Mr. Fury? Yes. Mr. Scafidi? Yes. Mr. Steele? Yes. Mr. Bellin? Yes. Ms. McFerrin? Yes. Mr. Barr? Yes. That passes 7 0. Now I'd like to adopt. You know what I'm doing? I've been doing it a year. I know. And now I'd like to adopt Ordinance 105 2018. Is there a second? Make a motion to adopt. I'd as, like to make a motion as, as to an emergency. adopt. As an emergency. As an emergency. There you go. I've got too many people chirping in my Okay. I'd like to make a motion to adopt as an emergency ordinance to the, or, uh, ordinance 105 2018. Is there a second? I'll second. I made the motion. It was seconded by Mr. Scafidi. Any discussion? No. Shannon, please call the roll. Mrs. Stauffer? Yes. Mr. Scafidi? Yes. Ms. McFerrin? Yes. Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Steele? Yes. Mr. Fury? Yes. Mr. Bellin? Yes. Court, the motion passes 105, <laughs> 7-0. Do you see, I like to be prepared ahead of time. I don't like these emergencies. Okay, next we have ordinance 108-2018. The temporary appropriation ordinance for 2019 approved by council from estimates submitted by the mayor providing for the ordinary expenses and other necessary expenses of the city of Twinsburg, Ohio during the fiscal year ending December 31st, 2019. Okay, that's the second first. reading. First. First, first, first reading. First, first that's first reading. the first reading. Sorry. Ordinance 111, 2018. An ordinance establishing salaries, wages, and employment descriptions for certain employees of the city and updating classifications of employees to be known as a salary ordinance. It is, that is now the second reading. Next we have Resolution 113, 2018. A resolution authorizing the mayor to enter into a memorandum of understanding with Tinkers Creek Watershed Partners Incorporated. I'd like to make a motion to adopt Resolution 113, 2018. Is there a second? I'll second. I made the motion. It was seconded by Mr. Fury. Any discussion? This is just an annual agreement to work in conjunction with the watershed on multiple projects. Any other discussion? Shannon, please call the roll. Mrs. Stauffer? Yes. Mr. Fury? Yes. Mr. Steele? Yes. Mr. Scafidi? Yes. Mr. Bellin? Yes. Mr. Barr? Yes. Ms. McFerrin? Yes. Resolution 113-2018 passes by a 7-0 vote. Next, we have Resolution 114-2018. A resolution authorizing the mayor to enter into an intergovernmental agreement with Summit County for resurfacing of Chamberlain Road within the city and township limits and to provide for shared funding. I'd like to make a motion to adopt Resolution 114-2018. Is there a second? Second. Okay, I made the motion. It was seconded by Mr. Bellin. Any discussion? The sharing funding is a $150,000 grant for a $780,000 project. After the 150 is taken out, it's 49 from the county and 51 from the city. It's a really good deal to get Chamberlain Road fixed. It's needed to be fixed for a long time, and we still have an additional grant pending. Yeah, this was a byproduct of, again, the, the development of Cornerstone. So we were able to use that from an uh, economic development standpoint to help get these grants. Nice. Thank you. Shannon, please call the roll. Mrs. Stauffer? Yes. Mr. Bellin? Yes. Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Fury? Yes. Ms. McFerrin? Yes. Mr. Steele? Yes. Mr. Scafidi? Yes. Resolution 114-2018 passes by 7-0 vote. <clears throat> Finally, we have Ordinance 115-2018. An ordinance amending the current year appropriations for the general revenue account as established in Ordinance 101-2017, the appropriation ordinance for the City of Twinsburg for the year 2018. I have a question before you start. Sure. Go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is not an emergency currently. So if we go on three readings, which is the 5th and the 11th, and it passes without an emergency, it's still not enacted because you need 30 days on an, on an ordinance. So if you wanted to get this done, you could either do it in an emergency now or on the 4th or on the 11th. But you're going to do it in an emergency if you want it to count this year on the, uh, uh, to transfer the money. So I would think that maybe we would make a motion to add the standard emergency clause and then adopt it as an emergency. What do you think, Sarah? 
we could do that. We did it on three readings, so you would have time to look at it. Okay. But if you want to do it on emergency tonight, that's fine. Right. Exactly. Yeah, I think we should. So you want to add the emergency clause at the end on it, so you don't have to be, so you don't have to do the amendment. No, I think you just add the emergency clause at the next meeting. To that's what I'm saying. Is you want to add the add it now or add it in the coming week so it's there when you're going to do it on the 11th. You can add it for the 11th meeting. It's fine. Okay. Thank you. Did we read that? Okay. Yes. <laughs> that, all right. Next we are uh, Mr. Scafi, or we're, we're going to go ahead and move on to unfinished business, new business, and mis miscellaneous. And I'll start with Mr. Fury this time. I have nothing this evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Steele. Uh, other than Maureen, you did a really good job this year. Well, thank you. The, uh, I hope, <laughs> hope next year works out well, too. Uh, other than that, I have nothing else to say. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Scafidi. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I have one thing. I'd like to make a motion uh, requested by the city engineer, Amy Moore. My motion is uh, for State Route 91-21.65, Darrow Road Widening Project administered by ODOT. Uh, the motion is to allow work on Sunday if weather favors in December 2018 in order to complete current phase of construction and shift traffic prior to asphalt plant closures with the following stipulations. Work shall not start prior, prior to 8 a.m. and no additional cost to the project for allowing work on Sunday. Is there a second? I'll, I'll second. second. Oh, I'll yield. I'll second. Oh, Mr. Barr seconds. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Any discussion, Council? Okay, Shannon. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I do. I do have a question. Amy, Amy just. I think she, she left. Oh, oh, she's no, she's, oh no, she's there. there. She's sitting. She's, she's hiding. There, she's hiding. Uh, are they one Sunday, all Sundays? I'm I'm a little concerned it's since it's weather permitting. Yeah. As many as they can get in, probably. Okay. Whatever they need. Yeah. The only one that the only one that concerns me is the 23rd, because that's right before Christmas. I, I think the plan to be closed by the 23rd. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Okay. It might not. Be. <laughs> Any other questions? No. Shannon, call the roll, please. Mr. Scabidi. Yes. Mr. Barr. Yes. Mr. Bellin. Yes. Mrs. Stoffer. Yes. Mr. Fury. Yes. Ms. McFerrin. Yes. Mr. Steele. Yes. And that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. McFerrin. Oh, I just want to say how proud I was of our city and the residents yeah. um, with Luminosity. It was just a great turnout and a, another time of seeing everyone working together. So I just appreciate everyone. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Mr. Bellin. I have nothing for this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Barr. Uh, just one thing, Ms. Clark. Uh, thank you for bringing this to my attention. Uh, I don't want to speak for anybody else up here, but I think we were all surprised. Um, I have a great deal of respect for your commitment to this issue. I appreciate your research on it, um, and I'm sure your neighbors do as well. So thank you for taking time out of your day to bring these issues. Absolutely. That's all I have this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Mayor? Okay. Thank you. Um, I just want to say something, Sue. I mean, I, we appreciate the work you've done on this. Um, and Mr. Maestro and myself would never put this city in any, any circumstance that would um, create a, a bias situation. Um, uh, we would never intentionally not disclose anything that we had knowledge of. Um, you know, we've been in the zoning legal world for quite some time, and as Mr. Scafidi said, we, we thought we picked the, the best representative to form his opinion, the best firm. Um, there was multiple attorneys that worked on it. Um, and, and again, knowing, knowing what I know and how things work, um, I don't have a concern, but I can see the concerns that you guys have. So um, I'm sure council can have more discussion and we'll, we'll address it. Mr. Maestros. Nothing, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'd like here? to add pending uh, litigation to our executive session. Okay. Uh, for me, Shannon. Does Shannon, Shannon, do you have anything? No, thank you. Sarah? I have nothing further. Okay. All right. Well, at uh, this time, uh, we are going to uh, continue. We had uh, an executive session earlier. We're going to reconvene that, and we are going to do I have to make a motion to add this pending legislation. Make a motion that we add pending litigation to our executive set. I said litigation. Yeah, you did. Say I did. You did. Like, and Sam said it again. I thought I said it wrong. Uh, is there a second? I'll second. Uh, 
That was uh, Mr. Steele. Yes. Thank you. Mr. Fury? Yes. Mr. Steele? Yes. Ms. McFerrin? Yes. Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Bellin? Yes. Mr. Scafidi? Yes. Mrs. Stauffer? Yes. Okay, at this time then we will, re we will uh, reconvene and report on executive session.